From one former WWE writer, we go to another. Kazim Famude was on the Masked Man podcast on Thursday, and he said that he is hearing the WWE will be hosting a big show in Puerto Rico sometime between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. So, so basically, somewhere between January and March is that this show would take place, and it would be headlined by a tag team match with Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio against Rey Mysterio and Bad Bunny. Now, Dominic Mysterio here, fresh off of t- attacking his father at home because he dared to put the Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving. That's what he said on the bump this week. And the idea is that the tag team match would then lead to a singles match at WrestleMania that would pit Dominic against Bad Bunny. Now, he said those plans might have, might have to change due to Ray being injured. We saw Ray in a walking boot on Thanksgiving when Dominic and Rhea Ripley you know, beat him up. He was supposed to be in the World Cup tournament on SmackDown. He got replaced at the very last minute by Mustafa Ali, who wrestled Ricochet instead. And at the time, what I read was that it wasn't considered to be a serious injury. If they're talking about WrestleMania plans having to be changed because Ray is hurt, then maybe the injury is more serious than expected, because otherwise that doesn't make any sense. And if they're planning a tag team match with him before WrestleMania, then it really doesn't make any sense. So I'm not... I'm not... uh, exactly sure of his injury status or uh, that it's all that serious because then he wouldn't be able to do anything at all. Uh, If it's a minor injury that he should be back from soon, again, why would that impact WrestleMania or a Puerto Rico show in January or February or March? Uh, Unless they're doing the show in January and then I guess maybe the injury is such that he won't be cleared in time, possibly. That could be why They even filmed the Thanksgiving video at all. You know, they had Dominic break a broomstick over Ray's foot, maybe as a way to keep him out a little bit longer. At the Survivor Series press conference, if you remember, Issa, uh, NYC Demon Diva, asked Triple H the question at the very end about the success of their international shows, uh, like Clash at the Castle, and obviously the Saudi Arabia shows do big business for them, and asked about doing more of them. And that's where Triple H, at the end of his answer, he kind of winked at her and said, stay tuned about Puerto Rico. And I don't even know if she brought up Puerto Rico specifically, but he said, stay tuned about Puerto Rico. So there's definitely something going on there. WWE has run plenty of live events in Puerto Rico before. I know they ran one there last October. Uh, They ran their first New Year's Revolution pay-per-view there in San Juan back in 2005, as far as major pay-per-views or major shows go. Bad Bunny, you know, Bad Bunny was born there. He's a native of Puerto Rico. He's one of the biggest musicians in the world. So a Bad Bunny match in Puerto Rico would probably be an instant, not even probably, it would be an instant sellout. (laughs) I don't know why I'm saying probably. It would be an instant sellout. He had one match. He had one match at WrestleMania last year. He tagged with Damian Priest against The Miz and John Morrison, and he was very impressive. Very similar to the Logan Paul thing at WrestleMania this year. That was his first match, also a tag match. This, In this case, he tagged with The Miz uh, against Ray and Dominic. And a tag team match is a smart way to debut some of these people because, you know, they're not experienced wrestlers. And so you want to try to hide whatever weaknesses they may have, let them share in the work instead of putting it all on their shoulders, which is what makes Logan Paul that much more impressive to me that at SummerSlam, they threw him in there in a singles match with The Miz, and he killed it. And then they threw him in there with the biggest star in the entire company for the championship at Crown Jewel, and he killed it. Logan Paul is is the best celebrity acquisition that they have had. And I say acquisition, he's actually signed a contract with them. But even just as a, a one-time celebrity they have brought in to do a match of some kind, Logan Paul is the best one that they've ever brought in. I mean, he is, you know, he's a natural athlete. He has an aptitude for it. Bad Bunny is similar in that he had the one match. I'm not going to say he's better than Logan Paul, but he went in there. He didn't embarrass himself. Uh, He did a few impressive things in that match, and he looked good. He was said to be very respectful to everybody. He's a legitimate wrestling fan. He put the work in in the weeks leading up to the show. And, you know, again, with him and Logan Paul, they have two celebrities who really knocked it out of the park. But he's been on tour. He's been on tour. And that tour wraps up this Saturday in Mexico City, which would then free him up to wrestle. I I assume the timing is is perfect for this. 
44 million followers on Instagram this guy has. This guy is smashing records left and right. On his most recent tour, he sold almost a million tickets. A million tickets. That breaks down to 45,000 tickets per show or $11 million a night. He's the only artist to have ever performed $200 million tours in the same year. So Bad Bunny is a big deal. The match at WrestleMania, though, should be Rey Mysterio against Dominic Mysterio. That's my that's my my beef here with what I'm reading. They could have Bad Bunny in Rey's corner. They could have Damian Priest in Dom's corner. Unless you know, if Rey is hurt, then obviously Bad Bunny standing in for him against Dominic would be fine. But the match should be Rey finally agreeing to wrestle his son one on one for the very first time. You know, Dom's been growing that mullet out lately to, to an obnoxious length. It was very noticeable on Raw this week. There may be a reason for that. That hair may be getting chopped off at WrestleMania. But they had Ricochet and Santos Escobar in the finals of the SmackDown World Cup on Friday night. With Ricochet winning the trophy, he's going to challenge Gunther in two weeks for the Intercontinental title. Escobar is one who I want to see in a program next year with Rey Mysterio. That's a match I have on my to-do list for 2023 if I'm Triple H. 